So today we're going to be talking about the Kanban method. And the Kanban method is just a good way to help a group collaborate with each other when working on a project. So you see here that we have tasks that need to be done on the to-do list on the left, and then the flow moves towards the right. And there's usually not a leader in this. It's one person who is designated sort of to sort of organize and put the task in the to-do area. But everyone mostly chooses their own task. So for the to-do list, we have ET name. Um, let's not give anyone a task yet. So let's say T wants to take on a job. So he's going to take this sticky note and move it to the doing column. And then A wants to do this one, so he'll move it to the A. And E wants to do this, so he'll move it here. And so in the work in progress, we have a limit of three. And the reason why we have a limit is because we don't want the we don't want too much to be being worked on at one time, sort of so that we can sort of move the process on so that other people can work on other things as well. Or it can like slow down a process of a process of another task as well. So we saw G down here and the limit is three. So he can't take a task and move it over to do. But G can come over here and help T take on his task. Or if T has completed his task and moved his sticky note to the side, that means his task needs to be verified. So G can take T's task here and move it to the verifying, letting people know that he's currently verifying the task. And once he's done, he can move it over to the done. That means you'll be you'll be missing a sticky note here. And so T can either go back over here and grab another task to pull to the doing, or T can come over here and help A with his task, or he can help G verify. And once G's done verifying, he can come over here and take a task, and so on and so forth. So it's basically just keeping a work an efficient workflow going on so that there's not too much going on at one time and that everyone's getting everything completed in an efficient manner. This allows people to know their roles and their responsibilities so it gives a person a sense of ownership and a sense of responsibility for it so, so it may also give them an urgency to complete it because I have other people depending on them to complete the task as well. But they also know that they can have help when needed. And that's basically the Kanban method in a nutshell. And I hope you guys learned something new. On a side note, you can also configure this method or tweak it a little bit to make it work better for your group. Whatever needs to be done. Like you can change the work in progress limit to two or four. I just prefer three because there was always an extra person not currently doing a major task so they can verify or help someone else on the task that's taking a little bit too much longer to complete. Yeah, so thanks and I hope you guys enjoy.